All right, students, so you must have heard the news that LTA is going to conduct J mains and NEET twice a year. In this particular video, we are not going to talk about the details of that. You must have already learned that. What we guys are going to talk about is how this decision of taking test twice a year affects you. How as a student, you have to take this into consideration that you are now given two opportunities and how to maximize that. So let's see this thing in action now. Okay, so if you ask me, according to me, nothing has changed, right? Nothing changes. And in fact, I would have, I appreciate the change that NT has uh, made into the system, but it could have been better if they would have also made changes to the April curriculum or the April date because it coincides with both, most of the time with the boards, right? But nothing changes, right? See, for January, you have now two dates, January and April, which is in fact better for you. What is not good that it is all online. The all online part is something tricky and for people who are used to working on computers, not a problem. Believe me, it is not a problem because you are too much used to using a computer. But whereas people who are living in rural areas and are not connected to a computer, this might be a problem, right? This is where the rural people, rural students will struggle. But if you read the carefully instructions given that for rural students, you will be given training of how you can attempt paper online. Uh, so in that way, it is good. But having said all online, this is something good. This is more transparent. First of all, right? Chances of leaking of examinations are less, which is very good for you guys, right? And plus results will come out very quickly, right? Results comes out very quickly. This is again a very good point for you. So that is why these two dates were able actually were possible so if you have been taking offline exam then january result would have taken or at least three months to come now it will come in only 15 days that's the good part that is why you can take two times the examination that was supposed to happen now more importantly so a lot of human cry is being made what to do what to do what to do nothing changes believe me you just have to prepare the way you are preparing no changes in preparing no change in preparation right no change in preparation so it is in fact a very good because only best of two will be taken right so best of two will be taken so nothing changes for you so even this whichever the high score higher score is you that will be taken so why i am saying it is not good and in fact uh, sorry it is good you can actually decide which month you can perform better so i have seen some students so uh, if i generalize the categorize the profiling of a student right a student who is very well prepared for let's say je advance right who is very well prepared for je advance would love to maximize in the month of january will love to maximize in the month of january and can then devote remaining four to five months especially on advance just imagine that uh, how much concentrate and focus study you can do for advance beautiful thing uh, if you are in that particular category right people who are just confused about whether they will be able to get a good rank and they are targeting JE mains for them also it is good because the January edition right the January edition could be uh, basically a pre-test right it could be a pre-test for them to check themselves it could be a diagnostic test right diagnostic test for you please do not worry about because you will still have a chance to come back in the April so that is why I am saying it is in fact a boom for you when we talk about that this decision is good or bad. So let's do the profiling on another three category basis where I have taken class 12 student, a dropper student, a partial dropper student and how the two categories or the two months of attempt uh, varies for them. So let's say for a class 12 student, what happens with a January approach, right? Uh, January is a good season after your pre boards right? Let's assume if you are not having pre boards you should definitely try and attempt this irrespective of the fact that you are still getting another chance at April. So this could be a diagnostic, as I have already told you, diagnostic test, right? This generally will refer to as diagnosis test, but people who are preparing for advance will directly go and skip here to the advanced part. This is the best thing, right? So nothing changes in fact for class 12. Class 12 students will still, I guess, prefer to take this in the month of April. But now come back, coming to the droppers portion, that is where the game changes a lot. So now what I predict, so my prediction here 
will be from not this year but from next year that most of the students will take class 12th boards and then immediately start preparing for IIT rather than preparing for entire two years. This is might be the trend that you will see in a long term happening which is why NTA conducted are conducting it twice so that students first of all should focus on boards and then maybe should try for IIT JE. That's what they are trying to do which I am partially uh, I would say uh, it is right. But for droppers, I have seen a lot of droppers who start, let's say droppers who start in the month of May, right, they would love to take the exam in Jan. Now understand why I am saying all this. So I have a huge theory of saying that there is a peak moment of performance, peak moment of performance. And uh, some of you might well agree, especially the droppers and थोड़े बहुत बारीक है बच्चे भी करें क्या मतलब है इसका कि आप जब पढ़ना शुरू करते हैं तो परफॉर्मेंस ऐसे इंप्रूव होती है और एक पीक पे जाती है और उसके बाद जाके थोड़ा ड्रॉप आता है और उसके बाद एक प्लेटू सा बन जाता है राइट दिस इज योर ग्राफ ऑफ एक्चुअल परफॉर्मेंस दिस इज योर एवरेज स्टूडेंट दैट्स अ गुड स्टूडेंट हाउ ही परफॉर्म्स जनरली अदरवाइज ग्राफ ऐसे भी हमने देखे हैं वेयर द ग्राफ गोज समवेयर लाइक दिस then this and then suddenly drops like this right so i am assuming that you go and go a plateau becomes here so what my target is why i suggest always give the test when you are at the peak this is your peak point this is your peak point right you should take the test when you are at a peak of your preparation because yahan par thoda sa kya ho jata hai demotivation shuru ho jata hai next stage mein यहाँ अगर आप डीमोटिवेटेड हो तो टेस्ट देने का कोई देर इज नो लॉजिक ऑफ गिविंग अ टेस्ट व्हेन यू आर ऑलरेडी इन द डीमोटिवेटेड स्टेज एंड विद माय एक्सपीरियंस व्हाट आई हैव सीन इज द पीक पॉइंट ऑफ अ गुड स्टूडेंट नाउ दिस इज इंटरेस्टिंग जनरली कम्स इन द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी जनरली कम्स इन द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी फरवरी दैट इज द पीक पॉइंट आई हैव नॉट सीन अप्रैल एज अ पीक पॉइंट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स बट जनवरी जनरली कम्स एज अ पीक पॉइंट स्पेशली फॉर ड्रॉपर्स because this is the month where your all curriculum gets over and you are at the best time of your career right because revision jab shuru hota na ye wala drop hota kyun now let's understand why the drop happens here because you start to get into the revision phase revision generally breaks the momentum of the study so if you just revise once and then you can take the test that's the best period so i would say for droppers is a fantastic opportunity to take test in january and get relieved and then try for advance if your syllabus does not gets over by january don't worry you still have the april month for you nothing changes as such right for you nothing changes so please keep working hard no change here for partial droppers if we talk about partial droppers ke sath kya problem hota hai they would have joined some college if let's say your december month is free generally for example for government colleges you will find that government colleges have break in december month so if you have a break in december you can utilize to take again this in the month of january and be free you you just have to pressurize yourself for 6 months that's what i believe so if for you also i uh, for students who are partially dropping i would say you should target the january month not the april believe me because there are a lot of distractions while joining a college lesser the time lesser the distraction better the output so you should also target january as your good option not april so if you take my consideration my take on this so for droppers it's a fantastic opportunity to take exams in the month of january partial droppers super boom they should definitely take in the month of january for class 12 i would say uh, people who are targeting j advance and are actually preparing very well for j advance they are targeting top ranks for them again month of january is a fantastic opportunity but for most of the candidates of class 12th i would say nothing changes do not take january test too much on your head nothing changes you are going to take test in april also but january would be a good diagnostic test this will give you a good idea of how to practice the test at when you have a final attempt at april so don't worry too much don't make a hue and cry i would say please please do not make a hue and cry appreciate the decision that at least the government is trying to change something from what has been done in the past results are going to improve and please do not waste your time in listening and studying about how and what you should do so no change please no change is there please do not make, make do not make a hue and cry do not 
मेक अ ह्यू एंड क्राई बिकॉज दैट्स वॉट वी आर वेरी गुड एट राइट हम ह्यू एंड क्राई बचाने में बहुत ज्यादा अच्छे होते हैं इंडियंस प्लीज डू नॉट मेक अन क्राई एंड मेक अ ऑलरेडी मार्केट जो आई आई टी की बहुत ह्यू एंड क्राई मचा रखा है उसको और फर्दर फ्यूल ना करें राइट जस्ट स्टिक टू दी प्लान कीप वर्किंग हार्ड इफ यू आर गोइंग टू इफ यू आर एबल टू फिनिश योर कोर्स बाई डिसम्बर गिव योर बेस्ट शॉट एट जनवरी इफ यू आर नॉट डोंट वरी अप्रिल इज स्टिल देर गॉड ब्लेस यू ऑल कीप वर्किंग हार्ड आई होप द स्टूडियो हेल्प्स एंड काम्स यू टू एंड डू फोकस स्टडी गॉड ब्लेस टी एस यू लर्निंग